this is the word to talk tp in this video i want to talk briefly on the international public sector accounting the conceptual framework ifsas the conceptual framework for general purpose financial reporting by public sector entity history of the conceptual framework chapter one to four the conceptual framework were issued in january 2013 it contains four chapters chapter one deal with the role authority of conceptual framework chapter two deal with objective and users of general purpose financial reporting chapter three deal with quantitative characteristics chapter four deal with reporting entity introduction the conceptual framework this one will introduce us to what we really mean by conceptual framework for general purpose for financial reporting sector entity the conceptual framework establish and make explicit the concept that will be applied in developing international public sector accounting standard and recommended practice guidelines applicable to the preparation and presentation of general purpose financial reporting. IFSAs are developed to apply across countries and jurisdiction with different political systems, different form of government and different institutional and administrative arrangements. For the delivery of service to constituencies, the International Public Sector Accounting Standard Board Recognize the diversity of form of government, social and cultural transitions, and service delivery mechanism that exist in the many jurisdictions that may apply to those pieces. Let's quickly deal with the chapter one or part of the conceptual framework of the IFSAS. The chapter one deal with the role and the authority of conceptual framework. The role and authority of conceptual framework, the role of conceptual, and this one is divided into four chapter two. And the number one chapter is the conceptual framework, general purpose financial reporting, authority of the conceptual framework, applicability of financial framework, role and authority of conceptual framework. The conceptual framework for general purpose financial reporting, conceptual framework. The concept that underpin general purpose financial reporting. The International Public Sector Analysis Board. We apply this concept in developing international public sector accounting, which is the rule and authority of conceptual framework. These are the rules. These are the authority, the authority of the board to underpin and to develop a concept. To be applied the preparation and presentation of uh, public financial reporting. Authority of the conceptual framework. The conceptual does not establish authoritative requirement for financial reporting by public sector that adopt users, nor does it override the requirement of process or recommended practice guideline. Authoritative requirement relate to the recognition measurement and presentation of transactions and other events and activities that are reported in general purpose financial reporting standard as specified in IFSAS. The authority of the conceptual framework give required related to the recognition, measurement and presentation of transactions in general purpose financial reporting a central component of our support of the enhanced transparent financial reporting by government. GPR financial reports intended to meet the information needs of users who are unable to require preparation of financial report tailored to meet their specific information needs. Meanwhile, this is a very broad topic. Details of this topic will be explained in another video created for this topic. The topic is very, very broad and we cannot explain everything with the short time we have with this uh, video. Applicability. How do we apply the conceptual framework into the... Who are the set of people who are applying it? That the, the 
concession fee applied to financial report of public sector entity. Every country that have adopt IFSAS must apply all this framework. Government, ministry, department programs, or commissioners, public sector security, trust, statutory and authority. Any part of government, any form of government agencies must adopt this uh, concessional framework of IFSAS. And if you have any questions as regard this concessional framework, you can write your question in the comments below and your question will be answered. Meanwhile, more video will be produced to explain further about the conceptual framework of IMSAS. And if you find value for this video, kindly subscribe and also this video and subscribe to this channel. See you next.